right again, and I'm here with Val Brown, Marketing Manager for Wireless at Navtech, which supplies uh, worldwide map data to many, many players in the industry like Google, like Yahoo, like MapQuest. Hi, Val. So what do you do at Navtech? Hello. I'm a Marketing Manager at Navtech, and I focus on the Internet and wireless space and focusing really on what's going on in the wireless uh, market. Okay, cool. And... Um, it's hot, right? Like I was saying, like we were just talking about the calendaring and maps are, are hot, and I think it's because it's about you. Maps are really hot, and what we're really seeing is, in, particularly in terms of being location-based, it's all about helping me and customizing uh, a map or a location that I am interested in. So if I'm actually in a new city, I want to find the restaurants that's nearest to me, then I'm really concerned about what's in the vicinity. I don't want to know what's in another state. I yeah. want to know what's right here. Or even locally. what's in the suburbs, or what's in the, if you're in the downtown, and what's in the downtown if you're in the suburbs. You want Absolutely. to know where you are. Absolutely. I want to know the nearest restaurant, the nearest theater. I want information that I'm concerned about that's really applicable to me. And it intersects with social networking as well, because um, if you want to, I want to get the slang right, if you want to meet people, um, you don't want to, and you, you don't, and it may not be for for, for dating. Sure. It may be for business purposes. Yep. And you're and you're downtown again. Right. You want to meet people downtown, or you want to go to a movie and things, things like that. So it intersects with another hot trend, which is social networking on the uh, in the mobile space, right? Absolutely. And what we're seeing is through wireless studies that social networking is really key. So for example, if I am in town at a conference, let's say in the Chicago area uh, at the convention center, and I know I have a colleague of mine yeah. or a previous. Uh, co-worker of mine yeah. is in another facility, I can tell them, okay, here, I'm down here at the convention center, and here are three loca restaurants that are in the vicinity. How about you meeting me down here? And then, oh, by the way, here's a description of those uh, restaurants, too. So the key is location, location, location. Right. Or if I, to use a non-dating example or non-business example, if I'm a knitter. Knitting is big in the blogging world. If I'm a knitter, but I happen to be in Chicago for a conference, but I... I want to know where the knitters are, you know. <laughs> Meet up with the knitters uh, after the conference or outside of ours because we have very many, uh, uh, what would the word be, identities and roles. Yep, absolutely. Um, so do you get to travel around the world? Are you North America based or how does We're this... actually North America based, but we also, our, we're headquarters in, in North America in Chicago, but right. our maps cover 55 countries. And so we have a strong presence, you know, North America, uh, actually in Western Europe and so forth. Is your territory in North America or are you... Uh, I cover North, the North American region. That's okay. Exactly my territory. Okay. And so and we're really excited about being here and being able to yeah. spend some time with Thank you, Win BC. <laughs> and getting the opportunity. Thank you, Sang Ma. Uh, absolutely getting opportunity to speak to some of the developers and hopefully they'll embrace the NAPTAC data um, yeah. that we have to offer because it's very a very dynamic uh, database. So yeah, I, I did a drive by and uh, um, with the 2010 Olympics coming, we have a lot of uh, data that's going to be generated. We have new street, new new tourist attractions. And what I found interesting is you, you call them points of interest. Yep. And you actually track them. So every restaurant, not just the ones that pay to be in Wear, Wear Magazine, but every restaurant, um, you have a whole uh, people tracking that and yep. make sure that's current. And that, as we add new Olympic venues, you're going to track that. As we add new streets and new subdivisions. So um, it's quite an interesting job, I think. And it never ends, yep. which is cool, right? So it's recurring revenue, to use yeah. the magic capitalist word, right? Because yeah. you always have new data. Absolutely. And, and to your point, we have that ride and drive where we have actually guys on the street actually capturing all those critical points of interest. And, that, um, and, and, and driving details, like, because I guess you, you feed into, um, what's it called? OnStar? Yes. Um, like, there's a media in here, but you can still turn left. Absolutely. You record that kind of detail. Or you can only turn left onto Granville Street to use a back for example from this street if you're going one way but not not reverse yep. and uh, it's, it's it's the, the amount of detail was uh, amazing on my drive through that I went to yeah, and just put yourself in the shoes of a driver. I mean, what is it you really want to know when you come to an yeah. intersection? Which way can you really turn? And that's, yeah. the, and that's the basic information we capture. So we really put ourselves in the, sh in the seat of the actual driver. Great. Thanks, Val. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.